coaches who will be pitting their wares against each other. Good afternoon, when I'm Ed Pixon. I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank Ronnie Nathaniels for minding the store with uh, Kenito Hanson here. Oh, great. Voila, voila. The toss on the top, and uh, first possession goes to Alaska Milk. Johnny Abarientos has it for Alaska. He's in together with Georgia Lastimosa and Poch Wino, Bong Hawkins, and of course the import Marquise Bragg. The decimated lineup of uh, San Miguel Beer was pretty evident uh, as the uh, starting unit was being announced. Hardly anybody was left on the bench after the first five was uh, on the hard court. Well, San Miguel has 10 men suited up for this game. Abibo Ravanes is back from the sick from the inactive list. Now, Don Polistico is starting in this game, and mm -hmm. his job is to play defense on Marquis Bragg. Now, Don Polistico um, has shown, particularly in the first conference finals, that he can play tough defense, and so they'll rely on him to keep uh, somehow Marquis Bragg in check. Of course, together with Don Polistico, you have the import Billy Martin, who just uh, put up an air ball together with Otto Augustin, Alan Kaidik, and Alden Teng. A very potent lineup that Coach Norman Black has on the floor. We're talking of perimeter artillery of San Miguel Beer. Well, he's got uh, Augustin and Kaidik playing together. Hawkins tries it from the outside. However, a foul is spotted downstairs. Down low, actually, as Don Polistico was going after Marquise Bragg. We've got a scoreless tie with over a minute gone by here in the first quarter. It's also interesting that uh, Coach Norman Black, uh, Ed, is not starting Hector Calma. He's going with yes. Ato Agustin playing the point. Calma will be coming off the bench. Um, Calma has, uh, has had his ups and downs uh, here this season. Yes. And uh, I think what uh, Norman Black wants to do is to conserve his energy. Uh, perhaps coming off the bench, he will be able to spell uh, Agustin. And he'll be much fresher to go up against a youngster like Johnny Abarientos. Bragg misses it, and Alvin Teng snaps the rebound out of midair. Still a scoreless tie with a minute and a half gone by. Ball goes through the hands of Billy Martin. Johnny Abarientos leading the offensive for Alaska Milk. Here's George Alastimosa against Alan Kaidik. Low post play here for Marquise Bragg. There's the double team. Two big guys looming over Marquis Bragg, Dong Polistico, and Billy Martin. And there's Hector Kama, we were just talking about him. Yes, Dong Polistico playing tough defense. He held his yeah. ground, shut the baseline, and uh, no room to operate for uh, Marquis Bragg. And of course, Billy Martin, I think his assignment is to play the double on Marquis yes. Bragg. Makes it that much more difficult for Bragg to, to curl away from Polistico because Martin will be on his weak side. More than two minutes have gone by, and neither team has scored until now. A drive-in play by Giorgio Lastimosa. He went up against three beer men that time, but he had the step and the jump on Bill Martin. Nine minutes and 33 seconds to go, first quarter. Martin gets a good look at the basket. However, was intimidated by the presence of Pochuino, Abarientos, now Martin, to Lastimosa. Uh, uh, yes. Ed, I was just going to say that Martin is not your typical post-up player. He likes to shoot the baskets outside, and I think Coach right. Norman Black is simply trying to exploit that strength in Billy Martin's game. If you notice, the last two times, they've sent picks for Bill Martin to take the shots from outside. Of course, both of them didn't uh, uh, connect. That's true. Uh, I don't know if they need another shooter from the outside with Alan K. Dick in there and Ato Agustin. Th that's right. You know, I wanted to make that point because uh, with Agustin and Kaidik there to provide the perimeter artillery, they need Bill Martin inside rather than outside. They're setting him up outside. As a result, once he misses the shot, it's really just Don Polistico out there for the possible offensive board, and he's getting boxed out by Marquise Bragg. Well, certainly uh, Marquise Bragg is more versatile on his feet than Don, Don Polistico is. But at that time, Marquise Bragg picks up the second personal foul of Don Polistico. Bragg averaging close to 40 points. Second free throw for Marquise Bragg. And Alaska has a 3 to nothing lead with 9.04 to go in this first quarter. Bragg shooting only 66% from the line, that right. time going one out of two. 
John has gets it over to Marquise Bragg, now Johnny Abariendos. You know, we were just talking about Bragg boxing at Don Polistico. That was mm -hmm. a perfect example. Polistico could just not get the possible offensive board. Talking about offensive boards, Marquise Bragg gets one off the miss by Johnny Abariendos. And it is five at Canel. Well, you might say that was a, an, an assist from Abariendos. <laughs> He didn't have a ghost of a chance to make that reverse because of Don Polistico. But what he wanted to do was to draw Polistico outside or away from Marquis Bragg. He looped the shot. Marquis Bragg had an easy two points. A smart play by Abarientos. Yes. And he would have looked good too if the shot had gone in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here's Giorgio Lastimosa getting away from the defense of Alan Kaidek. And Norman Black is worried. <laughs> Uh, that was the first field goal by San Miguel Beer in six tries. A and nice setup job there by Bill Martin for Alan Kaidik. Certainly that timeout by Coach Norman Black uh, did them good. As those are the first two points of the San Miguel Beer squad. Johnny Abarietos getting away. A classic pick and roll situation there. Screen roll play using the pick set by Marquise Bragg. All the way home for, for Johnny. Well, it took San Miguel Beer four minutes before they could score their first two points. Bragg getting the rebound. Abarieto sees Hawkins downstairs, and Hawkins with a nice fake. They've got a nine-point lead at 11-2. San Miguel Beer reduced to trying to connect from outside. Now, of course, we did say in the pregame that the perimeter artillery of uh, San Miguel Beer must be in peak form. Oh. <laughs> Big Watch block Lino. by Huidio. Yes. Martin will try again. He moves closer this time. Now that's the way he should operate. Yeah. Rather than try to shoot from outside, he's got the moves. He's got the agility plus the height to be able to move inside. So the Alaska lead is a cut down to seven points at 11-4. Here's Hawkins operating against Martin. Oh, nice move by Bob Hawkins, but he misses the shot. Dong Polistico gets the rebound off to Ato Agustin. Another outside shot going awry for Billy Martin, however. Abarientos called for the personal. First personal on Johnny. And we have Hector Kamba coming off the bench. He will replace Dong Polistico, so everybody moves up. Uh, at Augustine to the off guard and Alan Kaidik possibly. That's right. Now this is a small lineup that Coach Norman Black has on the floor, but certainly much speedier. And uh, I guess Coach Norman Black must have realized that Alaska was uh, running every time out. So he needs to be able to at least keep pace with Alaska, particularly in going transition back to back. First illegal defense spotted in the ball game against Alaska Milks. So just a warning, a first 25 second shot clock for San Miguel Beer and Alan Kedick has an easy route to the basket there. His fourth point of the ball game. Now very early in this game, it's import versus import. Nice fake by Lastimosa, getting Alvin Ting up in the air and getting closer for the higher percentage shot. A lot of people involved movement as far as Alaska is concerned. A lot of people involved in the offense. Three locals already have broken into the scoring column outside, of course, of uh, Marquise Bragg. Alan Kede could not get it to fall. Johnny Abarieto scoots into the front court. He's inside the paint. Last minute dish off was not anticipated by Jolas, but Abarientos picks up the loose ball and also a foul from Alvin Tang. Well, you call that dexterity. <laughs> he timed his jump so well. Now, of course, he has a big height disadvantage on Alvin Teng, but Alvin Teng was on the way down, and Johnny Abarientos was on the way up, and that's why Johnny got that basketball. But Hector Calma perpetrating the steal. Nice oh. dish off. What a pass by Alan Kaidik to Ato Agustin. Look away pass by Alan. Agustin connecting and picking up a foul. 
from Bong Hawkins. Watch it again. There's that look away pass. Yes, a classic fast break. Execution by San Miguel Beer. And it was Hector Calma bringing down the ball in the middle. Then the dish off to Alan Kaidik and another dish off for the finish to Ato Agustin. Three point play by Ato Agustin gets them closer to within four points of Alaska Milk. The score is now 13 9, five minutes to go in this first quarter. Georgia Lastimosa, Hawkins, that's a three. Yes, a triple V by Bob Hawkins. Well, Alan Kaidik was just about to sag off on uh, Bong Hawkins because they were expecting the inside pass to Marquise Bragg, and he was going to double team. And that left Bong Hawkins open for a three point shot. Passes wild from Marquise Bragg. 16 to 9 is the count, a seven point lead by Alaska Milk. The ones had a nine point margin in this four, uh, first quarter at 11 2. But San Miguel Beer has since come back. That's a nice camera angle that we're watching. The back of Norman Black, court level. Nice camera angle. Yes. Martin, it's a bit slow in getting inside the paint. And that was just knocked away from his hands. Yes, and uh, Bill Martin experiencing some woes. Now, he's averaging six turnovers a game. That's much too high for an import. Three minutes and 57 seconds to go in the first. And there you have the double team on Marquise Brack. He's forced to give it up. I think there will be an, must be an illegal pick or some yes. kind of contact. We're trying to get the call now from the referees. There is no announcement. There was a traveling, oh, a violation. traveling violation. Check that. No wonder there was no announcement. <laughs> There's Alan Kaidik coming to the ball. Oh, he had to loop it high. Uh, Kaidik, very offense conscious. He knows he's got to be able to step up his point production. It doesn't seem like they're going to get it from uh, anywhere else at this point. Yes. Well, Agustin is also playing in the basketball game now. Alvin Teng is now taking on Marquis Bragg in defense. There's a double team on Bragg. Four seconds on the shot clock. Yes, and he forced the issue that time. Still got the, the ball to fall in. Now Coach Norman Black asking for an offensive foul. Uh, well, he didn't get it. 18-11, seven-point lead for Alaska Milk. Hawkins on Kalma, that's a mismatch. Well, Abarientos and Agustin. And... Another bad pass results in a turnover. Another turnover. Yes, too much traffic that time. Again, the interior defense of Alaska holding firm. Giorgio Lastimosa got the bounce. That time they worked a one on one play for Giorgio Lastimosa on the isolation. Back to the biggest lead of nine points for Alaska Milk. Big curl by Ato Agustin, but he was off balance to that shot. San Miguel taking very poor shots from the field. They're not getting good shot selection. They're not getting opportunities to, to look at the basket. Quinio too deep under the basket and with Alvin Teng in front of him. Here's Billy Martin. Alan Kaidik being shadowed by Ball Hawkins. Alvin Teng coming in from the outside. The ball is tapped by Johnny Abarientos. Clean swipe by Johnny, and he pulls up in front of Hector Calma. Back to Johnny. Rebounds, Cramble. Shooting percentage has gone down here. Yeah, on both ends of the court. Yes, 139 left here in this period. And Hector Calma doesn't get the ball to fall in as well. Still a nine-point lead for Alaska, though, and Hawkins gets past Alan Kaidek. No problem there. 11-point lead for Alaska. A minute and 19 to go in the first quarter. Team foul situation, San Miguel with four, Alaska with two. Neither team is going to go into penalty situation here with 110 left. 
You know, Alaska has not called uh, their timeout as yet. With, That's uh, right. Just a minute remaining. Uh, they've not had an opportunity to call a timeout. Here's Johnny Barrientos. A poor shooting clip here by San Miguel Beer. Oh, definitely. Bragg is low posting against Martin. He gets the pass. With six seconds on the shot clock, Johnny Abarientos. Two seconds, and there's a steal by Alan Kaidik. Here's Hector Kama. And no one to pass to. Well, Billy Martin just yeah. came in, in in time for that dish off by Kama. With 27 seconds left in the first, we have a timeout. Only 27.8 seconds remaining in the first quarter. And San Miguel Beer with a nine point, or rather, Alaska Milk with a nine point lead at 22-13. Now we were talking about the poor shooting clip of San Miguel Beer that we observed in the first period. Well, the figures confirm it. Six out of 18 from the floor for San Miguel Beer. That's 33% shooting. That's horrendous. That's against, <laughs> that's against uh, 10 out of 19 for Alaska. Well, that scrambling defense of Alaska Mill certainly has made things very difficult for San Miguel Beer. Even Alan K. Dick has been having a hard time using the picks and getting open. A lot of the shots coming from the outside, that's right. So the interior defense of Alaska really holding firm and hanging tough. Well, last time no defense on Don Danampalayo who just came in, but he missed the shot. And that's the first quarter, 22-13 in favor of Alaska. It looks like the shots just won't fall for San Miguel Beer that time. Looked like an easy one for Billy Martin, but still it bounced off the rim. Start of the second quarter, a nine-point lead by Alaska Milk over San Miguel Beer. Marquise Bragg inside, tied up by Billy Martin. And the shot won't fall either. Here's Hector Kamba for San Miguel Beer. Now, Roel Gomez has checked into the basketball game, and he's taking care of... Uh, Hector Kalma in defense. The reason for that is I think uh, Coach Tim Cohen always wants to have a fresh man on Hector Kalma. Going to that point that we talked about, um, Alaska wants to wear down the beer men and their idea is to always put a fresh man on Hector Kalma and wear him down. Right, and still San Miguel Beer having uh, field goal shooting woes. However, a turnover by Alaska Milk and Ato Agustin hands it off. Hector Kalma, oh, look at that. Well, when it rains, it pours, as yeah. they say. Marquise Marcus Bragg. Losing the ball, but yeah. getting back possession. And hanging on to the leg of <laughs> De La Cruz. De La Cruz, he was... Uh, there was an apprehension that he had uh, picked up uh, chicken pox because he had, a, he had several rashes. But then he didn't have fever. And take a look at that... Uh, leg pulling incident <laughs> Bragg and Art de la Cruz so it's Art. good to see Art de la Cruz back in uh, form and here's one of the wounded of San Miguel Beer Ramon Fernandez now looking none the worse for wear and of course as we mentioned earlier the others uh, from the San Miguel team not suiting up for this game Franz Pumarin and Ives Dignadiza B-Boy Ravanes is now back in uh, harness although he has yet to play in this game 24 to 14, 11 point lead for Alaska. And you see the field goal story that has been the cause for this big lead by Alaska. Well, Billy Martin finally nails one down from the keyhole. Lead is down to nine. San Miguel Beer going to its 1 2 2 defense type. But still, Alaska just shooting over that defense of San Miguel Beer and so leisurely Marquise yeah. Bragg Martin uh, he got set up for that one yeah that's two in a row Billy Martin now has eight points in the game Bragg is double teamed Abarientos is open Kevin Ramos gets it off to Hector Kalma. And Kalma finally connected from the outside. Now, in that previous play of Alaska, you notice that Hector Kalma had to go from the strong side to the weak side, had to go the 
uh, cross court to be able to try to stop Abarientos because I think Coach Tim Cohn knows what he's doing there. He's trying to get uh, the double team, the man off the double team, open on the weak side so that he can have an easy shot because the man who will be double teaming on the strong side will be too far away to stop him. So Seven, you can see yeah. that uh, Coach Tim Cohn is using his head in trying to get his men open, anticipating that there will be a double team on Marquis' drag as far as Alaska's um, offense is concerned. Here comes Johnny Abarrientos, Ruel Gomez, unwilling to take the shot as there was nobody there under the basket, that is, for Alaska Milk. Still a seven-point lead by Alaska. And a block is spotted. Let's take a look at that block once more. Here's a move by Pochuino, and it's Art de la Cruz going sky high for that block. Meanwhile, we're going to have a sideline inbounds here for Alaska. As Ato Agustin gets his first rest, Alan K. Dick is back on the hard court. Here's Kaidek. Yes. Now, Hector Calma has made a difference for San Miguel Beer since his entry. He's introduced stability now in the offense of uh, San Miguel Beer. And that dish off to Alan Kaidek was again courtesy of Hector Calma. Lead is now down to four. Calma has figured in several steals in this game. Well, so far, with. Uh, about four minutes gone by in this uh, second quarter, Alaska or San Miguel has outscored Alaska Milk nine to three, or nine to four rather, and has cut the lead down to only four points. John Adele Cartel is in the game for the first time here for Alaska Milk. He gives the pass down low to Bragg, who kicks it out to Johnny Abarrientos, back to Bragg. Now there will be a mismatch there. Bolado early was being guarded by Hector Calma on the switch. Well, Johnny Abarrientos was able to shake off Art de la Cruz, but there's a turnover, and Alan Kaidik completes the steal, Billy Martin. Oh. What, a, what an error. <laughs> We've got Let's look at that again. He didn't know whether to pass or go straight to the hoop, and that moment of indecision created that error. There you go. And we have a timeout. Seven minutes and 39 seconds remaining in the second quarter, and it is Tim Cohn's uh, turn to call an early timeout here in the second quarter as San Miguel Beer has come back from a, an 11-point deficit and now has cut the lead down to four. Meanwhile, turnovers plaguing both squads here, Kenito. Yes, uh, that 1-2-2 uh, two, two defense of San Miguel Beer is wreaking havoc now on the Alaska offense, and that has also been the reason why uh, somehow Alaska can't get its offense back on track here. So it looks like Coach Norman Black has uh, pulled the right, uh, pushed the right buttons as far as uh, defensive adjustments are concerned. Now it's up to the offense to feed on the defense. Nice, nice move, yes. yes. Nice play for Alan Kaidik. Got the pick and got open. Nice 180 degree turn, almost a steal here. You see the scrambling defense now of uh, San Miguel Pier. Only 10 seconds on the shot clock and an offensive foul is spotted. Now that turnaround shot of Alan Kaidik deserves a second look. Look at that. Faked off two men. Yeah. And he made that curl for the two points. Now once more, the defense of uh, San Miguel Pier Forcing a turnover on Alaska. And Coach Tim Cohn sends back two of his original starters. Bong Hawkins and George Lastimosa for Chris Bolado and uh, Don Don Ampalayo. Well, what San Miguel Deer has been able to do here is to sufficiently contain Marquise Bragg. You notice that every time he gets the ball underneath, he is double teamed. He has had no opportunity to really score the big numbers that he's known to. Uh, we are tied for the first time at 26-all, courtesy of the 13th point of Alan Kaidik. 
Giorgio Lastimosa can't get it to fall. Lose ball, picked up by Marquise Bragg, but he loses it inside. Picks it up again. And there's a foul somewhere there. I think they'll call it on Ramas. Yes, his second personal foul. Now take a look at this play of Alan Kaidik when he scooted in the baseline. Moving away. We'll talk about, Del Cardell. talk about dexterity. Yes. Now you notice that he moved towards his right. That's not his strong side because yeah. he's left-handed. And that's also the reason why John Del Cardell was caught napping. I think he was trying to guard the strong side of Alan Kaidik. And Kaidik knew it. That's why he turned around and Ives Tigdadisa enjoying his uh, bottle of uh, mineral water. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see him back here at the Astrodome. Now I understand he's still having back problems. He still will be away from action, uh, I understand, for about another four weeks. So we wish Ives Tigdadisa well. I like his pants. Yes, he's wearing, <laughs> he's wearing what, Very what colorful, they call those, uh, yes. They're what they call the workout pants, yeah. weightlifters pants. 27-26 is the score in favor of Alaska Milk coming off the first deadlock of the ball game. Cardell picks up uh, another foul, his second personal. Only one field goal in the last 430, that's Alaska Milk. So you know that the San Miguel defense is working overtime. Opportunity here for San Miguel to get into the driver's seat for the first time. Billy Martin unable to give it to them. Merwin Castello has come in for Johnny Abarientos who but just took his first rest. Martin is forcing his shots. Uh, he knows that the defense is hanging all over him and he still tries to get off the shot. Here's Cardell, open shot for him. And Martin has the rebound off to Calma. A good rebound there by Bill Martin, a flying rebound. Martin runs into Marquise Bragg, and Bragg is going to be called for standing in the way of Billy Martin. It's going to be the first personal foul on the Alaska import. And again, the pass coming from Hector Calma. Bill Martin in good scoring position. But it'll just be a sideline throw in. Let's see what the judgment is. No, it'll be a two-shot situation yes. from the stripe. He was in the act of shooting. Bill Martin. Some uh, trivia on Martin. He's 31 years old, native of Washington, D.C. Played four years at Georgetown University. So he was a teammate of Patrick Ewing, now playing for the New York Knicks. Some of his other teammates were Reggie Williams, David Wingate, Sleepy Floyd, all of them NBA veterans. And one former PBA import was his teammate at Georgetown, Terry McDonald who played for Pepsi 1991. Oh, remember the big guy? Yes, Rod six shoulder player. Guy, yeah. mm. Well, now Billy Martin gives San Miguel Beer its first taste of the lead in this game at 28-27, courtesy of those free throws. Ball will stay with Alaska Milk with five minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Now it's a deafening silence here, and that's the Alaska offense. Here's Giorgio Lastimosa against Art de la Cruz. His pass is deflected back to Jolas. And good defensive yeah. rotation on the part of San Miguel Beer. Everyone's working hard, playing as a team. No easy shots for Alaska. This one looks like a piece of cake for Billy Martin, though. And Tim Cohn calls his second timeout of the second quarter. Five minutes remaining here in the second period, and it is a three-point lead now for San Miguel Beer coming down or coming up from an 11-point deficit. And the table has uh, reversed here as far as field goals are concerned. Just one out of 10 for Alaska is against seven out of 12 for San Miguel Beer. Well, we were saying earlier that uh, San Miguel Beer was shooting horrendously at 33%. What else can we say about 10%? Yeah, well, Alaska is faring worse. Yes, you're <laughs> right. It's one out of 11 now, as far as this quarter is concerned for Alaska. So something's gone awfully wrong <laughs> with the uh, sputtering Alaska offense. Now, Mervyn Castello is in the basketball game. Hector Calma is taking a well-deserved rest. Oh, Merwin was in for Johnny Abarriendos. That's right, yes. Nice pass to Jonadel Cardell, but he got intimidated by the presence of Bill Martin.
Alatay Dick. And Castello coming into contact. First personal on Merwin Castello. That is also the 15th foul for Alaska Milk. San Miguel has given up four. Alaska now going with a little more ceiling with Dickie Bachman's uh, entry. Well, Alan Kaidek is doing a remarkable six of nine clip from the floor. Now, Hector Talma in his stint on the floor really was responsible for this big uprising of uh, San Miguel Beer. He managed to put in, uh, was it four, two points, just two points, but he led the charge from the backcourt. Yes. And that's the reason why I mentioned that he's sitting on the bench now, because let's see how Alaska will be able to take advantage of his absence. Merwin Castello coming in for Abarrientos, and uh, he would have been uh, a fresh body to go up against uh, Hector Calma. Now Abarrientos, just about ready to check back in this ball game, taking advantage again of Hector Calma's absence. Well, San Miguel has now outscored Alaska 19 to five, make that 19 to seven. Here in the second period, three minutes and 23 seconds left in the second. Lastimosa using the window that time. Giorgio Lastimosa has 10 points in the game. Alan Kaidek, oh, a magical shot. Martin, ball is tapped by Bong Hawkins. Lead pass by Hawkins was a bit too wide for Marquise Bragg. Now, San Miguel Beer's defense is frustrating uh, Marquise Bragg. He's hasn't had a good clear look at the basket. Double team has been on top of Marquise Bragg. He's had to he's had to dish up that basketball rather than go straight to the hoop. Now for a an import who's averaging 40 points a game, it has been a frustrating night considering that he has he been held down to only is it 10 points? 10 points, yes. 10 points so far. Here with 2:53 left in the first half. Here's Martin getting the pick. Alan Kaidek is also open as he shook off Giorgio Lastimosa. And it's a five-point lead now for San Miguel Beer. Remember that they were down by 11 points in a, a couple of times in the first quarter. And we were talking about how important perimeter artillery, artillery was for San Miguel Beer uh, in the pregame. And so far, it's been holding uh, firm. It has been the outside shooting of uh, Alan Dick. That's keeping San Miguel's head way, way above water so far. We have the first time out of Norman Black in the second quarter. Two minutes and 28 seconds remaining in the second quarter. A five-point lead by San Miguel Beer. Hawkins, nice pass inside to Marquise Bragg. Now Bragg has been uh, really the only big-time scorer here for Alaska in the second period. He's got seven points in this period but only a total of 12 for the game. That's still way, way below what he would be expected to score in this game. Now, the only other scorer for Alaska in this period is Giorgio Lastimosa with a field goal. So you know that the production of Alaska is quite imbalanced at this stage. So they've scored only nine points in over 10 minutes of basketball action. Meantime, a, an offensive foul yes. on Dickie Backman. A moving pick called on uh, Dickie Bachman. So the ball will go back to San Miguel Beer. One minute and 41 seconds remaining in the second period. San Miguel by three. Martin against Hawkins. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Uh-oh. Referee Bernarte calling the foul. Oh, and Billy Martin liked that. <laughs> He was a little worried that he probably thought he was going to be called for uh, traveling. traveling. Yes. Watch this again. Now for Alaska, this will be the 17th foul. Either a traveling or a offensive foul because he led off with his elbow. So uh, a lucky break here for Bill Martin. By the way, uh, come halftime, San Miguel and the BAP, or Basketball Association of the Philippines, discuss the Hiroshima mission. While the much-awaited movie Blue Chips is just a... A night away. All these coming up at Keen's Nutrivim Halftime Report with Ms. Ana Amigo. Be sure to watch out for it. And 
Bill Martin connecting from the stripe. He's got a winning tradition uh, in the four years that he played for Georgetown, Ed. He, uh, the Hoyas, the Varsity Hoyas, yes. went to the finals of the NCAA three times, three out of the four years, won the championship once. Well, I'm sure Coach Norman Black and his coaching staff is hoping that that uh, streak of good luck was brought in by Bill Martin. That's right, we'll rub off on San Miguel yeah. Beer and uh, San Miguel Beer needing every ounce of luck that it can get here to bail it itself out of the situation. Nice <laughs> shot by Alan Kaidik, yo-yoing that ball in midair. Kaidik has been hyperactive on the floor. Alan already with 19 points in this ball game. Hawkins is wide open. Oh, that's the second triple V by Baum Hawkins in this ball game. And he's the most unlikely fellow. It's the same to have kind that of kind of a stand. Yes, and it's the same kind of thing that we were talking about earlier. The man of uh, Bong Hawkins went off to double team Marquis Bragg, and Hawkins knew it, so he went over to the weak side, expecting the cross court pass. He was wide open for the shot. Here's the guy's wide open. Art de la Cruz couldn't get it to fall, however. Just a two point lead now by San Miguel Beer. Time for one last play with 10 seconds on the game clock. Nicky Backman gets it from Georgia Lastimosa. Yes, and a nice cutting play by Backman. And a steal by Johnny Abarrientos as San Miguel Beer was unaware of time running down. And just before the buzzer sounded, the foul is called. Now Abarrientos will go to the stripe and he'll have the opportunity to put Alaska on top at uh, the half. Oh, oh, there's a look of pain on the face of Art de la Cruz for committing that personal, especially as time had run out. Well, he was also responsible for turning that ball over because he didn't know at the time the game clock was winding down and all of a sudden there was uh, chaos on the bench of San Miguel as they frantically tried to inform him. So he had to look away and Johnny Abarentos uh, capitalized on that. So at the end of the second quarter, it is now Alaska back on top, 40-38. Back here at the Panetta Astrodome for the start of the third quarter, and uh, I believe you have some stats to share with us, Kenito. That's right. For uh, the first half, Alaska showing the way in total rebounds, 23 to 19. And we were talking about uh, Alaska coming on strong, particularly in the interior. So they've been able to dominate the boards, at least to the tune of 23 to 19 in the first half so far. In terms of turnovers, Alaska had two more, 11 to 9, and that was because of the pretty sticky defense that San Miguel oh, yeah. Beer applied in the second period. Now in terms of field goal percentage, San Miguel Beer 42%, Alaska 43%, both teams shooting rather poorly in this game, way below 50%. Talk about shooting poorly. Yes, well, uh, Pochuino has certainly uh, t time and again been able to stop Billy Martin, but uh, Alaska's hard put to stop this guy. Alan Kaidik now has 22 points in the ball game. Well, he's gone wild in this game. Yeah. And no doubt that uh, Alaska must find the antidote to at least muzzle the guns of uh, Alan Kaidik. He's just he's just gone berserk. He's yeah. got 22, 22 points. 22 points so far, as you were saying, and 10 points in the second period. Well, he started off a bit sluggishly. He had only six points in the first quarter, although he still top scored for San Miguel Beer. That rather anemic start by San Miguel, they had only 13 points in the first 12 minutes of play. But really, shot the lights out of the Codetta Astrodome in the second period. You know, Ed, usually Norman Black likes to use the starting lineup that he had in the first period to open the second half. But this time, in the second half, he's put in a new man. Hector Calma is starting at the point, and I think that's a tribute to Calma. He's done well in this game. He came off the bench in the first period, and he has controlled both the defensive and the offensive movement of San Miguel Beer. And I think that's a feather in... Uh, in in Kalma's cap that uh, Coach Norman Black has shown confidence to bring him back here to start the second half. Let's see how Kalma can do. Here's Ato Agustin against Johnny Abarrientos. A nice move by Ato Agustin. Only five points so far. You know, in that isolation play, Bong Hawkins, I think, wasn't sure whether he would double team or not. Mm -hmm. He was there for the possible double team, but it was a weak type of double team, and Ato Agustin just Rather, certainly just ate up Abarientos. Rather undecided on that particular move was Bong Hawkins. Here's Hector Kalma into the front court. Well, nobody really met him. Again, it was Bong Hawkins who was there. 
But Carmas had already taken the shot. And again, San Miguel moves off to a five-point lead. Georgia Lestimosa can't get it to fall. Hawkins loses possession. And a lucky break here for uh, San Miguel. The ball going out, going out of the, I think it was the shin of Bong Hawkins. Seven to nothing run by San Miguel Beer to start off the third period. And with two minutes gone by, Alaska Milk has yet to score in this third quarter. Another curl by Agustin. Here comes Johnny Avarientos. Hawkins drilled in two three-point shots back in the first half. One from the right of the key and the other on the other side. Quino gets a nice bounce off Don Polistico. Yes. Off uh, Polistico's shoulder. Para bang assist pa sa Taman tama si Pochuino. He was right there for the shot. Those were the first two points of Alaska in the third quarter. 9.22 to go now. There's another curl by Alan Kaidik. And they're looking to Alan for the points. Are you shooting from everywhere? That's one thing you can say about this guy. He can shoot uh, inside and out. Queen, your nice dish off. And Marquise Bragg had all the time in the world with that slam home. And Polisico just looked away. He didn't want to be in the way of Marquise Bragg now. Well, Polistico has given up two personal fouls on Marquise Bragg. Now, this is an unwieldy lineup that, uh, or combination that Coach uh, Tim Cohn has on the floor. You, you notice that it's Bong Hawkins taking on Hector Kalma at the point. Um, the reason is uh, Tim Cohn is going with a big lineup. As a result, he's had a big man go up on Hector Kalma, so he's sacrificing Bong Hawkins outside. He will probably need Bong Hawkins more inside, but he's got a big lineup there. So he's had no choice. All right, let's watch that uh, slam dunk by Marquise Bragg off the assist by Porch Wino. Oh, that's a big one. 47 to 44, San Miguel on top by three points, and Alan K. Dick given two free shots. He has 24 points in the game. <laughs> San Miguel Beer going into this ball game. One win and three losses. But coming off a victory over Santa Lucia, we understand that uh, come Saturday, the five amateur players will be reporting to the camp of San Miguel Beer. This will be the first appearance of the five amateur hopefuls who may be enlisted to play for the national team in Hiroshima. How many are they taking in? All, all five? We understand that Coach Norman Black has said that he will get at least three. It's possible that he will get as many as five. And here we're talking of Carriasso, File, Durendes, Espino, and Aquino. Those are the five amateurs. Well, of course, uh, a lot of San Miguel Beer fans are crossing their fingers that their favorite uh, San Miguel players are not going to get axed to accommodate uh, those five. But well, a lot of it uh, will also depend on health. Yes, uh, of course. A lot of the players, of course, are injured. And uh, as a result, uh, openings have sprung. Well, whatever it is, we wish the uh, San Miguel Beer team uh, luck in their quest for that elusive Asian basketball crown in the Asian Games. Yes, it has been a long time since the Philippines yeah. reigned as champion. I think that was way back in 1966, if I'm not mistaken. The Philippines mm -hmm. won the first four Asian Games crowns and then has not won. And this is now the 12th offering of the Asian Games in Hiroshima. Billy Martin lost possession. Four seconds on the shot clock, Martin. And point blank range yes, scores. And, and a smart move by Don Polistico because I thought he was going to take the shot from outside. Yeah. His time is running out but he had the presence of mind to pass the ball inside for the high percentage shot for Bill Martin. Four point lead for San Miguel Beer. Seven and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Giorgio Lastimosa. Hawkins got Alan Kaidik out of the way. Alan looking at the referee for a possible offensive foul, didn't get it. Fifty forty-eight, the two point lead by San Miguel. Again, it's Hawkins uh, taking on Hector Calma way outside. 
And that should be for Kalma to perhaps drive in on Hawkins. The small man getting the big uh, offensive rebound, and it's Marquise Bragg. Did not have good rebounding position that time. And he has called for his second personal foul. Another air ball from Bill Martin. With by the good way, rebounding position. By the way, in our main game, we're going to have Seb Sarmenta and Andy Howe bring you Tondenya 65 rum versus the Swift Mighty Meaties. There's a foul, and Alan Kaidik asking for a goaltending violation. Well, Coach Norman Black saying that that ball was trapped on the backboard and uh, should have been a goaltending. Let's look at that again. If you trap that ball there against the backboard. Mm -hmm. well, apparently the referees didn't see that because Alan Kaidik is at the line. And he missed the first oh, free throw. His first miss from the uh, free throw line. By the way, of course, just in case uh, you didn't know, uh, the Swift Mighty Meaties will be playing without Ronnie Tompkins. He has been slapped a two-game suspension on account of that uh, incident that yes. he figured in with uh, Ray, Ray Quenko. Quenko. And, you know, we were just talking about that possible goaltending. And uh, from my understanding, it is a good block if you block the shot and then it hits the backboard. It will be a goaltending if the ball hits the board first and then you block you mess it. mess around with it, yeah. Parang ganon. Parang ganon understanding ko. No? So I think that was a good call. Or Not to call, call. goaltending, yes. 50-48, two-point lead for San Miguel. Marcus Bragg Brad. squeezing in. But he had inside scoring position, Ed. Mm -hmm. That's what Alaska wants. He wants him to get in, get inside for scoring position. Uh, Bill Martin apparently is more comfortable shooting from the outside. He's been having some difficulty in penetrating the blue paint. Sometimes loses possession of the basketball at that time. Got blocked. Well, Ma um, Bill Martin is not a uh, an aggressive power type player. He's more a finesse player. And as you can see, Abariento simply just defied and went around Bill Martin for that shot. And again, Alaska Milk is in the lead by two, 52 to 50. Martin is posting up. That's not his kind of game, but uh, they're going to that just the same because they need him for high percentage shots rather than having him fire blanks from the outside. Yeah. We've got a timeout call by Norman Black. Five minutes and 54 seconds remaining in the third quarter. That's Jeffrey Carriaso, one of the five amateur hopefuls could play for the national team depending on how he performs in the tryouts to be conducted by this man Norman Black yes a two-point lead by Alaska milk at 52 to 50 we have five minutes and 51 seconds remaining in the third quarter Agustin gets a good look at the basket and that's a good sign for San Miguel Beer. If Agustin waxes hot in combination with Alan Kaidik. That's a very potent one-two punch. This is our second deadlock of the game. The first one was at, well, 26 points back at 26 all. Marquis Bragg begging for the basketball. Now he's on a double team. That's a oh, good pass. Yes. Now, one thing that Marquis Bragg has shown here is his ability to pass off the double team. And that is something that Coach Tim Cohn will want him more to do considering that every time he gets the ball in scoring position inside or down low, there is a double team by San Miguel. Alan Kaidek being shadowed by Giorgio Lastimosa gets it off to Ato Agustin, but Gianni Abarrientos takes it away. Alaska Bell started off like a house on fire this afternoon, posting an 11-2 lead at the onset of this game. And that time, Bill Martin decided to double team in the perimeter, which was not a wise thing to do yeah. because Marcus Bragg was left wide open, no defensive rotation. Also, no one probably from the San Miguel beer side able to uh, stop uh, Marcus Bragg. Remember, Ives in the Disa, Ramon Fernandez not playing in this game. Those two players might be able to defend well against an import. Four seconds on the shot clock. Agustin, nice fake. Yes. And a tough shot by Agustin, under time pressure. Two-point uh, two lead by Alaska Milk at 56-54. 
Bragg once more asking for the pass. There's a double team. Bill Martin almost had the steal. Marcus Bragg. Look Cutting. at this play. Yes. The double team on Huinio and Marquis Bragg got the opportunity. At time, Bill Martin, however, was able to tap the ball away from the hands of Marquis Bragg. Here's Martin open from the flank. Alvin Tang keeps it alive for San Miguel Beer. Alan Kaidek, no. Here comes Johnny Abarientos. San Miguel quick to come down on defense. Off tempo shot by Johnny Abarientos. Looked like he was more concerned of, about not getting blocked than getting that shot to go in. Yes, he took that on the wrong foot. Uh, he wanted to catch the defense flat footed, actually. As a result, he didn't have a good angle on the shot. Nice play. Billy Martin getting open. As a former San Miguel Beerman. Elmer Reyes. Elmer Reyes. Yes, uh, he's been away from the Pro League, but uh, he staged a. Uh, Remarkable comeback with the Red Bull team in the PBL, yes. and uh, he averaged double figures. Um, looks like Elmer Reyes is enjoying a revival, and maybe the reason why he's here is uh, he's announcing his availability to play back in the PBA. Well, certainly, he certainly has shown that he can still play. Certainly, Elmer Reyes was one of the more colorful uh, players that we've seen on in the pro leagues. Yes, a good can also defender. shoot from the outside and uh, that's right. Tough on the inside, tough penetrator, good defensive player. Meanwhile, the fourth personal foul is called on Bong Hawkins. The referee Maglaya making that call. Uh, that's a dire development for Alaska. Milk will still have two minutes and 45 seconds remaining in the third period. Alaska by three. And Ato Augustin scores his 11th, rather 10th point in the ball game via that free throw. Don Palayo is brought in for Bong Hawkins. Now San Miguel Beer, only one team foul so far. So keeping away from the fouls and hanging on the coattails here of Alaska. Now neither team in penalty situation just yet with 14 fouls for Alaska. On my way here, I met some friends who were telling me that they were looking forward to an action-filled game between Alaska and San Miguel, and they're getting it. This is indeed a very exciting ball game between Alaska Milk and San Miguel Beer. Yes, and a crucial one for uh, San Miguel Beer to win, because a victory here for San Miguel Beer will be fashioned against one of the oh. league's elites, Bill Martin. Finishing off the break, off transition. And San Miguel Beer is back in the lead at 60-59. George Lestimosa coming out to meet the ball up against Alan Kaidik. Reverse layup is too strong. Here comes Agustin off to Billy Martin. Art de la Cruz. Alan Kaidik is, and Alvin Tang is still in the backcourt. Why, I think they win it. Yeah. Oh, a big rebound there. Offensive rebound by Martin, but he was smothered. Here we go with Abarientos. Alvin Teng is limping. And another defensive stop here for San Miguel Beer. Could have been a foul on Bragg. Let go situation. Nice turn by Ador Agustin. Alan Kaidik is holding on to his bread basket. Either Alan Kaidik is tired or he might have gotten hit. But the play will continue. Referees are not stopping it, and Kai Dick forced to give up the foul. Well, he gave up the foul so he could get out of the game. Well, he's probably exhausted. He's been playing his guts and heart out all game. Here was that offensive rebound of uh, Martin and a big smothering block. And Alvin Tang was also... We also saw him limping and uh, favoring his right foot, it seems, or his ankle. Here's that shot of uh, Ato Agustin, a fadeaway, a looper. He had to do it over the outstretched arm of Marquise Bragg. Here's Don Donampalayo trying to take it strong, but Art de la Cruz taps it away. Here's Hector Calma. Might have uh, taken steps. Yes. Hector Calma might have taken steps. No call, but just the same a turnover. Poetic justice, they call it. Yes. That was clearly a uh, traveling violation on the part of Kalma. 
Still a three-point lead by San Miguel Beer with less than a minute remaining in the third quarter. Don De Nampalayo a bit hesitant at first, but he went with a three-point shot and got it. Big bus basket there yes. by Don Don. And Ampalayo gives that added dimension in offense for Alaska because he can take it from three points. Ato Augusto, Ooh, magic shot. shot. Martin. All right, that one will count. A lucky break there for Billy Martin. Almost lost possession, regaining the handle. A three-point play in the offing. And Coach Tim Cohn is sending in Chris Bolado to add more ceiling and to spell Marquise Bragg in the last 35 seconds of the third quarter. Well, Bragg was uh, quite muzzled in the third period. Let's see, how many points did he score? Uh, six points period? here six in points. the third quarter. And Bill Martin uh, showing that he too can play good defense. Of course, Martin, well-schooled in defense, having played for Georgetown University. Coach John Thompson was uh, the mastermind uh, of the 1-3-1 type of defense. And Georgetown known for its defensive prowess. Right now, San Miguel Beer back in the driver's seat by three points, 65 62, 25 seconds remaining. Oh, that's a classic third. matchup that everyone's been uh, anticipating. Calma versus Abarientos. Razzle dazzle move. The magic man missing that one, though. And here's Agustin. Bill Martin. Five-point lead for San Miguel Beer, down to three seconds in the third period. Ravel Gomez is open, but in short. And the third quarter is history. San Miguel Beer on top, 67 to 62. Enjoying a five-point lead. Alaska still playing all Filipinos. We start the fourth quarter. You see how they scored in the first three. Yes, and San Miguel Beer outscoring Alaska in both the second and third periods. Now here's a switch. Ato Agustin is now bringing down the basketball and Hector Calma is in the game. Yes. Martin out to De La Cruz. Now the reason for that is that it's Roel Gomez on Hector Calma. So Gomez, oh. a more rugged defensive player. Agustin also started off rather sluggishly for San Miguel. Had only three points at the end of the first half. Now has a total of 15. Uh, he's taken over from Alan Kaidik who's yes. still resting on the bench. Uh, he got the win knocked out of him. Well, this is the biggest lead by San Miguel Beer, a seven-pointer. Alaska led by as many as 11 points a couple of times in the first period. London and Palaya missing a three-point shot from top of the key. We're in the second minute of the fourth period. Martin is momentarily open, but he misses the shot. Martin using the pick set by uh, Ramas. Dodd Palayo is open again. Now, Marquis Bragg is not in the game so far. Chris Bolado unable to control the rebound. Yes, and without uh, Marquis Bragg, Bill Martin snaring that defensive board. Agustin, fall away shot, nothing. And the loose ball is out of bounds in favor of Alaska Milk. Bragg is back for Bolado. Alan K. Dick for Ato Agustin. Mayong agabi dira sa mga amigo naton sa Bacolod kag sa Iloilo. Mayong gabi sa Cebu ug sa Kapisayan ug Mindanao. Jampo sa Ilocos sa uh, Good evening. <laughs> Kalimutan ko na na banyo. Oh. Good evening sa Ilocano. Lord <laughs> <laughs> Palayo hits the deck and Arthur de Cruz takes it away. Here's Alan Kaidik inside to Bill Martin. It's the aggressive defense of San Miguel Pier forcing a spate of turnovers. Now plaguing Alaska. 27 points now for Bill Martin. Marquis Bragg, there's the double team up high. He's forced to give it up. There's a foul. Third personal on Kevin Ramos. Hawkins, who has already collected four personal fouls, is being sent in for Dondon Ampalayo. 
Rather for Dickie Backman, it's George Alastimoso who came in for Don de Palayo. The lead is nine points for San Miguel Beer. Good pass inside to Marquise Bragg. is going to pick up a foul from Bill Martin. Well, that time he was in scoring position, but San Miguel Beer's defense not allowing any easy two points for Marquise Bragg. They left to earn his points from the stripe. Second personal foul for the San Miguel Beer import. Nine minutes and 29 seconds remaining in the fourth. And Marquise Bragg just turned 24. That was last March. Hey, he's improving uh, on his free throw. <laughs> yes. Shooting 66% prior to this game. Played for Providence College, the same school that produced uh, Otis Thorpe of the Houston Rockets. One out of two on from the charity line. That's not too bad. <laughs> 50%. <laughs> Calma. His pass is knocked away. They're putting pressure on Hector Calma now, making it difficult for him to dish off. The idea behind putting a big man on Hector Calma, of course, is to distract his vision. Martin gets open. That play has been working for Bill Martin, but that time he missed the shot. Giorgio Lastimosa. Here's Bragg once more in scoring position. There's a double team. A three-second yes, violation. They'll call a three-second violation. Referee Bailadesma on top of things right there. He got the ball when he was outside the shaded area. Then he started to move in. Then the double team came. Yes. They got and stuck. that was a problem. <laughs> Abarientos on Hector Calma. It is 71-63 in favor of San Miguel Beer, Alan Kaidik. Trying to take the measure of Merwin Castello. And Castello is going to be called for the body contact. His second personal foul. That is Alaska's first team foul here in the fourth period. San Miguel Beer has given a two already. Eight minutes and 47 to go in this ball game. Remember, Tundenya Rum 65 faces the Swift Mighty Meaties, who will be playing all Filipino tonight in the main game. And of course, we will be seeing in action for the first time Mitchell Wiggins former NBA player. He's going to be uh -huh. making his debut for Tondena. Alan Kaidik open for the three. Johnny Abarientos has the rebound. You know, when Alan Kaidik sets up for a three-point shot, you hear a roar from the crowd all the time. Everybody holds his breath. Yes. <laughs> Ramas is going to be called for the foul on Wong Hawkins. That's number four on Ramas. What have you got on Mitchell Wiggins, uh, Kenito? Well, he played for three NBA teams. Played for the Chicago Bulls, the Philadelphia 76ers, and the Houston Rockets. Once oh, yes. averaged 15 points for the Rockets. Also, he was banned for two years <laughs> in the NBA for drug use. But, uh, but he recovered. He recovered. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he just had to drop a bomb. Set up the sign the wood. You know, not that we're just getting the bottom of the barrel here. Mitchell Wiggins is a legitimate NBA player. He's coming off a stint in Greece. Should be a sight to watch. Watch out for that second game. Meantime, a timeout. Eight minutes and nine seconds remaining in this ball game, and it is now an eight-point lead for San Miguel Beer at 71 to 63. Still a lot of basketball time left, but San Miguel Beer already with 14 fouls. as against only one for Alaska. Oh. Inside scoring position, but a massive block by Bill Martin. However, there will be a loose ball foul. Yes, looks like it's on Berwin Castello. You know, we were talking about the defense of Georgetown University and Bill Martin. As we say, as we see the comparative stats between the two. Bill Martin getting the edge here in rebounding. Yeah. He's got six more points than Marquise Bragg, too. Yes. So he seems to be outplaying uh, uh, Bragg. But Bragg has been frustrated, not by Bill Martin, although he was blocked by Bill Martin that last time out, but because of the double team that San Miguel Beer has clamped on him. Speaking of double teams, that one time, Alan K. Dick faced the double team and lost the ball. Johnny Abarientos, however, is fouled by Hector Kama, preventing that fast break play. 
and Hector personal. Kalma, yeah, and Hector Kalma showing that he can still run up and down the basketball court. Oh, yes. He chased down Johnny Abarientos and he foiled that, uh, what would have been an easy layup, a sure two points for Johnny Abarientos. Well, Johnny Abarientos has only scored six points in the game. It looks like Kalma's gamble paid off. One shot missed here for Johnny. Seventy-one to sixty-four. San Miguel by seven. Here's Hector Calma. Anemic pass by Alan Kaidik. It goes out of bounds. Well, that was anticipated by Marquis Bragg. Yes. And it will go off San Miguel, so Alaska will regain possession. Good defensive play there. Good anticipation of that entry pass to Bill Martin. Meanwhile, Ato Agustin is back for Art De La Cruz. A double barrel threat on offense here again for San Miguel Beer. Alan Kaidik and Ato Agustin both on the hard court. Hawkins to Lastimosa. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Nice pass, not quite. But Johnny Abarietos picks up the loose ball. And Agustin with a rebound. Hawkins will give up his fifth personal foul. And Agustin is down on the floor. He's holding onto his shoulder. Now he was bumped outside of the play. Or he flew out outside of the playing court, yes. rather. He was bumped inside the playing court. But he's in the sidelines now, getting a rub down on his shoulder. Yes, they're applying an ice pack on his left shoulder. Let's look at that again. Here's Hawkins moving in. And there was that uh, move. No brakes in uh, Bong Hawkins' motor. Yeah. Uh, that was indeed a big bump. That hit the left shoulder of Ato Agustin. Who, has just, who had just come into the ball game. We'll come back into the ball game. He seems all right. Now he must just—he uh, must have just been jolted. Also, he wanted to take some time off, catch his breath. Although you were saying he just came off the bench, you're yeah. right. Matako ito sa ano no sa pahinga. Sa pahinga. 71-64. Kama signaling the play for San Miguel Beer. Off the pick by Bill Martin. Yes, two-man game there, Martin and Agustin, with Agustin providing the pick. Screen roll play. And Marquis Bragg had to switch over to Agustin. So Agustin really had the option either to shoot over Bragg or to dish off to Bill Martin, who by that time was just being shadowed by a much smaller Alaska player. Here's Agustin against Lastimosa again. Ball away by Agustin. So hard to check that jumper by Ato Agustin. Meanwhile, a loose ball foul and the rebound scramble. It's Alvin Tang. And they are in the penalty, so two shots will be awarded. Alaska Milk has not yet, uh, is not yet over the limit as they have only given up four so far as a team. Six minutes and 43 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter, a seven point lead by San Miguel Beer. And we were saying that the penalty situation would hurt San Miguel Beer. And sure enough, Coach Tim Cohn contemplating his options. Well, you know, the score has been pegged uh, for quite some time now. Neither team has actually scored in a field goal for a couple of minutes now. Giorgio Lastimosa off the glass, misses it. And Agustin with the loose ball recovery. Six-point lead for San Miguel Beer. Six minutes and 25 seconds to go. Martin trying to get closer. Here's Calma. Agustin versus Lastimosa. Seven seconds on the shot. Now Calma is open at the corner. And Bragg has the rebound for Alaska Milk. Here's Abarientos. Freezing by Hector Calma. Referee by Ledesma calling the foul on Hector. 
Uh, but again, it's just too quick for Hector Kalman. He'll go to the strike for his two points. One and one play there. A nice move to the left side, Hector Calma. A step behind Johnny Abarientos. I can't recall of a player who can go up against Johnny Abarientos in such a move and yes. stay in step with him. Napakahirap. Of course, you have the inertia when you're driving to the hoop. Probably Yoyo Martres 20 years ago could have kept in step with him. Yes, he was really fleet footed in his prime. Lead is cut down to four at 71-67. Five minutes and 44 seconds to go now. Melvin Castella doing a good job shadowing Alan Kaidik. You know, well, Alan Kaidik is having difficulty get, getting to touch the ball. Bill Martin, however, takes care of the outside shot that time. Here's Castello. And Leslie Bernarte calls a foul. And on again, Bill Martin. Alaska will go to the strike once more. And said Miguel's already given up eight team fouls. Yes. And of course, with 523 left, this is really hurting San Miguel Gear. Of course, if Alaska can't cash it in those free throws. And that's going to be good for San Miguel. Earlier, he split his charities. And he does so now. 73-68, five-point lead for San Miguel Beer. Here's Calma. Agustin with a getaway. Aspen Agustin showing the way in offense here for San Miguel Beer. Four fifty-two to go in the game. There's a double team on Bragg, but he still gets the shot off, and he'll go back to the stripe. He knows he, he knew he was going to get the contact. Well, Martin now has four. That looks like San Miguel Beer is uh, content with the uh, fouling uh, Marquise, Marquise Bragg. Bragg that's right. uh, he's getting a workout from the line. He's getting a lot of good practice. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have Jonathan Cardell coming in for Merwin Castello. Of course, in 1990-91, when he was a sophomore, playing for Providence College, Marquis Bragg shot only 44% from the line. That's why I said he's improving on his free throws <laughs> at 60%. <laughs> and a lot of concentration behind that shot. And it looks like Alaska anticipated that that shot was going to miss. Yes. So there was a line violation. Someone moved in ahead of time. 75-69. They have a pretty good term for that in the game of golf. You call it the yips. But you yips. can't putt, yeah. Yips. So the, the, the pressure on, on on a guy who's putting. Uh-huh. Uh, and, you know, when he when it gets to him, they say that you have the yips. Abarientos called for the personal now. I guess very wary of uh, Ato Agustin coming straight and strong to the hole. Now, the next foul of Alaska will send San Miguel Beer to the stripe yes already with five team fouls that's alaska Ato augustin oh and that time he was met by marquis bragg no less and bragg wanted to make sure that that ball would have absolutely no chance of connecting look at that high leap of marquis bragg oh, hindi pala, no, hindi pala oh, it was just a wild shot by augustin and Agustin, on the other hand, tagged with a personal. And Abarientos will go to the strike. Second personal foul on Ato Agustin. 75-69 is the count. Still a six-point lead by San Miguel Beer. Already with ten fouls just in this period alone. That's San Miguel Beer. I've been looking at Alan Kaidik. He's had 
Like you said, he's been having difficulty getting to the ball. And it looks like, uh, you're right, Kinito, he's been getting winded in this game. Now he asks for a swig of his uh, water. Problems at the free throw line yes, for Alaska Milk. One out of two once more. They're down by five, four minutes and 12 to go. Here's Agustin. Coming out is Alan Kaidik. There's a tap from Georgia Lestimosa. Kaidik looks inside. Five seconds on the shot clock. Down to two. And they're going to lose possession. Coach Tim Cohn and Mr. Uipengsu giving their boys a round of applause for good defense. And that time, Agustin holding on to the basketball too long. He was looking for cutters. He didn't see any cutters. Here's a chance for Alaska. Trim down the deficit. Johnny Abarientos. And a double pick for Johnny Abarientos. Again, another foul. Abarientos will go to the strike. But Johnny Abarientos has only scored 10 points so far for the Alaska cause. But he's scoring heavily here. Yes, in the fourth quarter. The stripe, yes. He's had his, he's gotten his points from the uh, free throw line. Could have scored more. And this particular play that Alaska run had a double pick, twin tower double pick for Johnny Abarientos to get loose. Seventy-five, seventy-two, just a three-point game here. Three minutes and thirty seconds remaining. Now we see Hector Kalma get up from the bench. He will be checking back in. Agustin. Here's Alan Kaidik. There's the pick. Five seconds on the shot clock for San Miguel. Agustin had to put it up. Loose ball picked up by Georgia Lastimos and Alaska is running. Johnny Abarientos wants to set this one up. Down to three minutes remaining in the fourth. Knocked away by Art De La Cruz. 14 seconds on the shot clock of Alaska Milk. Hector Kama is in for Art De La Cruz. Now this is a crucial move on the part of Coach Norman Black. He's got Kalma back there, plus his two cheap gunners, Agustin and Kaidik. Time out by Tim Cohn. Good evening, Philippines. This is Ed Pixon, together with Kenita Henson for Vintage Sports. And the game between Alaska Milk and San Miguel Beer, with two minutes and 59 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter, is a three-point game. San Miguel 75, Alaska 72. Giorgio Lastimosa tries to get past Ato Agustin. Pochwinio off to Wong Hawkins. Hawkins inside. And there is going to be a foul. Alvin Teng has three. And San Miguel Beer continuing to pick up the fouls here already with 12 team fouls here in this period. 248 left. Alaska making a living out of those free throws. Bong Hawkins gets it to go. I remember that San Miguel Beer got into the penalty very early in this period with 746 remaining. San Miguel had gone into the penalty. Now with 248 to go. And one thing though, Alaska has not been able to really capitalize. Yes. They've been going one out of two practically each time out. Johnny Abarientos, Marquise Bragg. And now Hawkins. Yeah. Squandering Kaidik. some very yes. important free throws. Kaidik has been scoreless here in the fourth period. Right. Bill Martin, nothing but net from outside. Martin and that's now a big with 31. Push. Bill Martin telling the referee that he was hammered. Four-point lead by San Miguel Beer. Nice tap by Bill Martin. Fronting defense by Bill Martin. Again, the good defense of uh, Bill Martin. Creating that turnover. And Alan Kaidik creating some opportunities for himself inside the paint. Would have liked a three-point play, but will settle for the two free throws. Poch Wienio picking up his third personal foul. Alan Kaidik played in the national team at the Beijing Asian Games in 1990. So he will be making a return to the Asian Games this October. 
October 2 to 16, and Alan Kaidik missing his first free throw. Of course, one of his teammates there is Juan Fernandez. Yes, and Juan Fernandez also played for the Philippine team that played at the 1974 Asian Games in Tehran. And Dondo Palayo back in the fray. Seventy-eight, seventy-three, five-point lead for San Miguel Beer. A low-scoring ball game. We're oh, still yes. in the seventies. Alvin Teng trying his luck. And not a good foul to give up for Alvin Teng. Uh, George Alastimasa will go to the stripe. He's one of the best free throw shooters, if yes. not the best, in the Alaska squad. Well, it was double jeopardy there for Alvin Teng because not only does he give Georgi Lastimosa and Alaska a chance to score two more points, but Alvin Teng also committed that foul with still a lot of time left in the shot clock of Alaska. So hardly any time expired when he gave up that foul. And uh, to top it all, that was also his fourth personal foul. The whole triple jeopardy, Papalano. <laughs> okay. And of course, San Miguel Beer naturally will want to stall since San Miguel is on top. Maybe just by three, depending on whether Giorgio Lastimosa scores his second uh, free throw. But don't forget the main game, Tondenia Rum 65. Oh, we can't wait to watch that versus one. Versus Swift. Mitchell Wiggins will be going up against no import Yes. on Swift's side. How much was it? 25,000 pesos and... Two, two game, game suspension, suspension yes. for Ronnie Tompkins. Ronnie Tompkins. Very sporting gesture on the part of uh, Ronnie Tompkins. We'll tell you about that later. Uh, the last two minutes brought to you by Emperador Brandy. Dito na tayo sa toto, Emperador Brandy. You were saying? Yes, I was saying that Ronnie Tompkins, a sporting gesture, because after the penalty was needed out, uh, he apologized, he said sorry, and uh, he was very remorseful. Now, Bill Martin was blocked, but the ball bouncing off yes. him. So a case of bad luck there for Bill Martin on his drive to the hoop. Look at that again. He was blocked in midair by Hawkins, but the ball bounced off him. So here's Alaska. They're down by three. Bragg. There's going to be another double pick here for Johnny Abarientos. George Alastimasa has it against Agustin. Nice turnaround. Hawkins with the rebound. And the two points. 78 to 77, just a one point lead by San Miguel with a minute and 16 to go. Timeout by Norman Black. One minute and 16 seconds remaining in this ballgame and just a one point lead by San Miguel Beer over Alaska Mill. So another cliffhanger here in the offing. Now both teams in penalty situation. San three. Miguel electing to inbound from the back court. And a lot of timeouts left for both clubs. Yes, three for Alaska and two for San Miguel. Both teams in the penalty. Ato Agustin sets up Alan Kaidek. Yes! That was a set-up job. Yes, that was an execution. Yes. Agustin faked the dribble drive. A dish off to Kaidek. He was thinking three. Just took the two-point shot. Dodge Lastimosa. Nice handoff to Marquise Bragg. No timeout there on the part of San Miguel Pier. One point lead for San Miguel, 80-79, 37 seconds to go. This is a crucial possession for San Miguel Pier because Alaska will get back possession. The curl by Alan K. Dick and a tap out by Giorgio Lastimosa. Here's Norman the Black will call the timeout. Only 30.8 seconds remaining, and San Miguel Beer with a one-point lead. There you go. Three more timeouts for Alaska to call. San Miguel's left with one. Nine seconds on the shot clock here for San Miguel Beer. 30.8 seconds to go. As we said, this is a crucial offensive for San Miguel Beer, protecting in just a one-point lead. As you said, nine seconds to work with. Martin is up against Jaria Barrientos who forces him into a jump. But it's going to be a big man versus a small man. But uh, Bill Martin was lucky he wasn't called either for traveling yes. or uh, a charge because he was bottled up. 
and he might have shuffled his feet. He was apparently really bothered with the presence of Johnny and Barrieta. Alaska Mill calls a timeout. All right, Jojo, here, boom, here. So one, two, like a cross spelling, okay? All right, now, you've got to understand the only way we're going to get a tip is to steal it. Huh? So you got to anticipate where he's going to go, okay? Anticipate where he's going to go. Now, if they tip to Alvin Tang, foul right away. Okay. Number 10. That's my man. Okay, they tip to Tang, foul right away. Otherwise, try to, if they get the ball, try to play uh, hard defense. We're going to spread the court. Try to give him a basket. They'll give us three or four seconds to go. We don't need to foul. If they overload here, we'll follow them? No, we're going to have to foul anyway. Yeah, we have to foul. Oh, have to foul. All right, uh -huh. but let's try to deny everybody. Let's give us a couple seconds. Deny everybody, and then go after Tang. We got ball goes in his hand. Keep, keep, they're going to get it. Don't be following anybody. Yeah, follow anybody. All right. If we get it, let's get it set it up. All right, let's set it up, and go down and go one. All right, team, one, two, three. Twenty-eight seconds to go, and a jump ball situation in front of the San Miguel basket between Bill Martin and Johnny Abarrientos. So that's a Mutt and Jeff yes. combination that you'll see there. A one-point lead the by San Miguel Beer at 80-79, 28 seconds remaining. Well, from what we could pick up uh, um, from Tim Cohn, he is ex naturally expects this tip to go to San Miguel uh -huh. Beer. And what they're going to go for is a steal off the tap of Billy Martin, since Billy Martin naturally will get this tip, but who knows? There you go. They anticipated but Alan Tydick was able to get possession. Now it's a fresh 25 for San Miguel Beer, and they give up the foul. George Alastomosa gives it up with 22 seconds remaining. That's right, because time is on the side of San Miguel Beer. They could have simply just run out the clock because 25 seconds were left, and San Miguel Beer ahead by one. They had to give up the foul, and Hector Calma will be at the stripe. Well, Bill Martin had everybody fooled. He went the other way on the tip. Everybody expecting him to tip forward. Yes. Instead, he tipped it backwards to Alan K. Dick. Pressure packed free throws here for Hector Talma. And Hector says, what pressure? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's used, he's used to, to pressure. That, yes. He is a pressure player. Hector Talma, we understand that his wife is uh, on the family way once more. So congratulations yes. to Mrs. Talma, Mr. Talma. At the timeout by Tim Cole, they're behind by three with 22 seconds to go. Okay, what we're gonna do here? All right, Fong, you set up here, okay? Mark Keys, get right there. You done done, take it out, okay? Johnny, here, and Jojo, here. Okay, all right? That's, that's our point, right there, right? Yeah. Okay, right here, all right. Now what we want to do, okay, Johnny takes the ball, then Jojo back pit. All right, then Johnny fake first the ball, then back pit. Go behind, Flair. We can get him here, go ahead. All right, go, go. All right, make sure you get fast. All right, then Jojo step out, okay? Ball goes into Jojo. Don't know you slide in here. All right, Johnny, you pick down, bone comes out. All right, Marquis, screen down here. All right, come down and screen down. Johnny Pop, get the ball over to. No, I mean Johnny Pop in the corner. We get the ball over. Don't don't straight into Marquis. If we can get a quick two, two points to Marquis right away. Go. Jump, jump. Uh -huh. If we can, then go ahead and look for the three. Okay. All right. So back kick, big back kick, clear. Look for JoJo. Uh -huh. Two. Two points to the Marquis right away, go. Jump, jump, jump. Uh -huh. If we can, then go ahead and look for the three. Okay? Alright, so back pick, big, back pick, clear. Look for Jojo. Uh, Marquis, you can't get no one, no one looks like they're gonna get the ball. Emergency. Come Emergency. on out. Okay. Otherwise, just look ready to come down and screen for Johnny coming through. Ball and curling back up. Okay? Alright. Alright, spread the court. Make sure. Hey, 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 panic, man. hey 22 on. seconds remaining. A three-point lead by San Miguel Beer. A series of picks being designed by Coach Tim Cohn. And yes. you heard battle lines are drawn. Yes, battle lines are drawn indeed. And uh, they're they're not uh, going strictly or exclusively to the three-point shot. 
They will be looking for a quick two points if the opportunity is there for Marcus Bragg to score. Um, naturally, if they get a quick two points, they will want to foul immediately because um, if they take a three-point shot here and miss, then they foul. They could be down by five. So oh. let's see what happens here. Here's Hawkins. Johnny Abariantos coming to the ball. Now time is winding down. I go. think they're going to go for the three-point shot. Yes, Hawkins takes it. He had two earlier. And San Miguel ball. beer ball. What a lucky break. But Hawkins took that shot with a lot of time left. 11.6 and San Miguel Beer gave him that shot. It was a three-point shot. Uh, Alan Canide comes back. Art de la Cruz came in for him on defense. Ten seconds were chopped off that uh, shot clock. No timeouts called. Here's Alan Canide. They'll go for the foul to stop the clock. Not much choice. They didn't want to foul Alan Canide, but there was nobody else. Well. Norman Black knew there was going to be a foul given up, and so he wanted Alan Kaidik to precisely get control of the basketball. Naturally, you will want your best shooter to be at the stripe at this situation. Just 8.8 .8 seconds left in this game. Doesn't look too good for Alaska. They're down by three, and Alan Kaidik at the line.